Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to the range test of this tank. Yeah, it is absolutely massive. This is the new Kia EV9. Again, it is massive. Anyway, the EV9 that is sending here is the rear wheel drive version with the 99.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. So that means a WLTP range of 563 kilometers. But I will not be getting that today because it is still early spring. So that means it is around 12 degrees Celsius and there is some wind. So again, no 563 kilometers today, but let's see what I can get. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And I will do one test at 130 kilometers per hour. The car is already charged up, this is just a dummy, so let's go! The downside of a huge battery pack in combination with an efficient car for its size is that the battery empties really, really slow. When the car had used 10% state of charge, I had driven 63 to 64 kilometers. That means a real world range in early spring conditions, so it's not even summer or late spring, of 630 to 640 kilometers, which is more than the WLTP range. Let's pause this lorry, so let's speed up a little bit. But again, that is more than the WLTP range. That is mighty impressive for such a big car. I have to say though, I do have tailwind at the moment, so when I turn around, I do expect the consumption to go up. And also at the moment I am driving around 95 kilometers per hour on the speedo, which is 91 to 92 kilometers per hour GPS speed. And I do this because, especially in the beginning, I had to drive slower from time to time because it is pretty busy on the road still. Not here, not in this part of the Netherlands, but where I drove earlier, it was pretty busy on the road. And that is because it's not even six in the evening. So it is rush hour, it is rush hour. But again, this part of the Netherlands going to the German border. It's really quiet, really quiet. Anyway, I will keep on driving. I will deplete at least 50% of the battery and I will drive it from around 75% to around 25%. But yeah, this will take a while. This will take a while. Let's put on the cruise control. Oh, it is already on, as you can see. And let's snooze. No, I'm not snoozing. I stay awake, but yeah, this is kind of boring. Second, and also the last update for the 90 km per hour test. Driving 90 km per hour is still boring and will always be boring. But besides that, the car has used 33% state of charge and on that 33%, I have driven around 180 km. So the range, it seems like right now, is 540 km, which is a good result because it is early spring, it is not that warm yet. And the WLTP range is around 560 kilometers. So then getting a range of 540 in these conditions, really good, really good. I will keep on driving, turn on the music and then pass this lorry with two kilometers an hour speed difference. Oh yeah, oh, there's a car coming. You can pass to the right. Is he doing that? No, he's not. He's not passing from the right. Then I will go to the right and he will go to the left. How it should be. Very good. We are doing, we are good boys. We are good boys. Yes, you're the good boy. Anyway, keep on cruising and then you will get the result at the charger. All right, so I am finally done with my 90 kilometers per hour test. So here is the result. I started my test with 74% state of charge and I finished my test with 24%. So that means I've used 50%. On that 50% I have driven 259.5 kilometers. So you can do with the Kia EV9 in early spring conditions around 10 degrees Celsius with some wind 519 kilometers. The average consumption was 19.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And the WLTP range of the rear wheel drive version is around 560 kilometers. So in these conditions, getting 519 kilometers is not a bad result. That means in summer, yes, you can definitely get the WLTP range with this car. Of course, in winter, you get less than this result. But again, really good for such a big car. I think the Kia EV9 is a efficient EV. And again, 
A Kia can do its WLTP range. I mean, that is what we're, we are used to from Kia and also Hyundai, by the way. So yeah, just a very good result, if you ask me. So then it's now time for the 130 kilometers power test. That sentence got weird out of my mouth, but let's go. Here I go, doing the 130 kilometers per hour test, going on the Autobahn, going to accelerate. Yeah, I gotta warn you, this will not be spectacular because this is one of the slowest EVs that I have ever driven. Because it is the rear wheel drive model, so that means 0 to 100 in 9.4 seconds. Yeah, it's quick enough for such a big car, but it is nothing impressive compared to other electric cars. It's going. Yeah, there we go, 133, 34 on the speedo to drive 130 GPS speed. As I said, the acceleration, it's not, nothing impressive, nothing impressive. Although, I mean, it is a 2500 kilogram car, accelerating that in under 10 seconds to 100. Still really good, still really good. Let's turn on the cruise control. Cruise control, please. Yes, there we go. And let's keep going. I mean, it is not impressive in terms of acceleration, but man, this car is quiet and comfortable. You don't even notice if you are driving 150 or 90 or 130. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Anyway, I will keep on cruising. I thought someone wanted to pause me with a ridiculous speed, but not quite, not quite. I mean, it is Germany overall, so you can expect everything. Oh, everyone's on the brakes. Tank coming through, coming through. Yeah, never mind. Bleep, 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 bleep. All right, again, I will keep on going and you will get status updates as usual. So the car has used 10% state of charge and under 10% I have driven around 43.5 kilometers. So that would mean a range while driving 130 kilometers per hour or 435 kilometers. That is unbelievable. I mean, it's really unbelievable. I mean, really, I don't believe it because at the moment I have tailwind. So that means when I turn around, the consumption will be higher. And also the state of charge kill in a Korean car is not linear. So that means you can drive more from 100 to 90% than from 10 to 0%. And therefore, again, I don't believe this number. I think the range will, I think it would be really impressive if it was somewhere between 350 and 400 kilometers. So I will just keep on going. You will get another update when I have used 33% state of charge and then you will get the result at the charger. Look at how quiet it is on the road. It is currently eight in the evening and all traffic has disappeared. I can do my test very relaxing. Cruise control on, lane keeping assist on and just keep on going, keep on going. Anyway, the car has used 33% state of charge and on that 33%, I have driven 125 kilometers at the moment. That means a range, the range dropped down from 430 to 300 and 75 kilometers that's that's more realistic that's more realistic also the consumption was when i was driving north and i had tailwind around 27 to 28 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers the instant consumption at the moment when driving south is around 33 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so yeah it does make a difference headwind or tailwind it does make a difference it's maybe even more than 33 I don't know, but the average consumption at the moment is 28.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Is there a crazy German coming? No, oh, he's not driving that fast, not driving that fast. Anyway, I will keep on going and you will get the final result at the charger. So I am done with my 130 kilometers per hour test. So here is the result. I started my test with 80% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 24%. So that means I've used 56%. On that 56%, I have driven 191.5 kilometers. So you can do with the Kia EV9 in early spring conditions while driving 130 kilometers per hour, 342 kilometers. The average consumption was exactly 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I have to say, 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, that is not a bad result if you ask me. 
Again, this car is huge. It weighs 2,500 kilos. It is five meters long, two meters wide, 1.8 meters tall. Again, it is absolutely massive. And then doing 30 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, while it is around 10 degrees Celsius and there is some wind, I don't think that is a bad result. For such a big car, this is a efficient EV, if you ask me. And also it is really comfortable. Again, it doesn't matter if you drive 90, 130, 150 kilometers per hour, you don't notice the difference. It is a really comfortable cruiser and it is amazing for the longer distances because I am currently charging at 65% with 192 kilowatts. You can charge from 10 to 80% in around 20 to 25 minutes. It is absolutely amazing. Although personally, I find it too big. I would never buy this big of a car. I, I, I just wouldn't. Yeah, maybe if I have four children, but I don't plan to. So again, for me personally, this car is too big. But anyway, that was the result. I hope you liked it. And if you did, well, please give a like and do subscribe. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And then thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.